Howdy. morning. Well, I don't know if it's morning for them, but well, the sun's just coming yes. up and it's very beautiful. And I'm Daniel. I'm Jake Hayhurst, and we are a home builder here in Wise County. We wanted to show you our first portfolio home. I know you guys have seen this house before if you've been on our website and been a part of our social media, but this was kind of our first portfolio. It's the Dickinson, so we wanted to give you a quick run through mm -hmm. of what we love about it and what we've actually changed throughout the process as we've grown. We've made a few adjustments, so yeah. let's check it out. You know, I think my favorite part of this house, as you approach, I love the simplicity of the lines. Agree. You know, we, we take a lot of our um, inspiration from the actual mid-century movement uh, from... Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, Jake. Sorry, Dan. Sorry. From, uh, you know, the 30s up to the 50s and 60s, but just that really simple roof line, the natural materials. I agree with you because the simplicity in, in the mid-century movement was not a whole lot of roof lines, but there's some modern homes out there with a lot of different angles of stuff going on, which is cool. But I think more of our thing is a throwback to the 50s. There's beauty and simplicity. I love that, yeah. that saying. So, and I also really like what we've done here on this particular house is the planter box. It kind of creates some depth. And Absolutely. When you park here, you can walk down that pathway. It's an inviting thing. So let's go check it out. So we're going to walk you through the inside and kind of tell you about what we have changed. You know what I like coming to the inside. Similar to a lot of our homes, you can see right through the house. Again, it's this long linear approach. Yeah. Instead of a box, it's it's a rectangle, which we like because you let exactly more natural light in. Fireplace. Just yes, some other cool things. <laughs> we took inspiration for this fireplace from Richard Neutra, who is a world-renowned architect. A lot of his fireplaces were open on one side and they kind of had this cantilever, but in today's houses with the Ming so tight, we um, fully encapsulate our homes. In it spray foam. In spray foam. You don't get enough um, draw from the house because the houses aren't drafty. From back in the day, were drafty. They are not drafty anymore. One thing I, I want to mention too is the cabinetry in this mm. house is all walnut, which our mom wanted a dark cabinet instead of staining staining something cheap we used walnut so the natural colors and the tones in the wood come out as opposed to staining yes. as far as some of the things that we have changed after living in this house our mom living in this house realizing um we need another bathroom so in in the in the dickinson you'll see on the website there'll be a uh, a powder bath right here We've also had a couple different options in the kitchen. Instead of an island and a bar, it's just kind of one nice big island here that acts as both. And uh, a little less cabinetry, just so, again, it's, it saves you some money. Jake, you don't need that anymore. I'll tell you, that's a nice mug, though. It looks nice. You're Kristen made this mug, my wife. And it looks comfortable. It's nice. It feels good in your hand. It does. It's yeah. grippy. Thanks for offering me some coffee. Anytime. This is a Panatron, also known as a pantry. My mom uses it also for glassware. We have a couple of, again, options, variations within the plan that allow for quite a large pantry and also um, a, still a good size pantry, but not quite as, as large as the Grand. Another thing I like about this particular house, which, you know, it's definitely a, a very large upgrade, but are the copper countertops. Oh, absolutely. Um, they're antimicrobial, if you will, um, so bacteria can't grow on them. They patina real nicely. If you want to clean them up, you just get some lemon oil and some vinegar, and they are shiny again. But I personally like the patina. I agree, and, and obviously so does mom. And the backsplash. Kristen um, handmade the backsplash. She does clay and, and tile, if you will. Another if feature. You, of, if they will? If, if you will? If you will, I, don't, I think that's a saying. I don't know. I don't think it, per, it pertains pertains to this scenario. <laughs> so if you got to have a hallway, this is the way to do it. It has a nice bank of windows to let this light in, mm -hmm. and then it's flanked by a uh, screened-in porch, which we really like to incorporate if if the client is interested. Uh, we can go to the other side of the house. All right. The TV room, 
and the bunk room and so on and so forth. TV room you, and bunk room. You've made some changes to that, correct? That's correct. So in here, we have some options for this part of the house as well. This is currently set up as a TV room with an additional, uh, could be a bedroom. We have an option where there's a whole, this is a whole bedroom ensuite, a fourth bedroom with mm -hmm. its own bathroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, through here, right now, you can close these doors off. You've got a TV room and then the kids' playroom right here with a loft. So, loft. Loft. Which she's, she's a big fan of. That's me. Uh, yeah, there you are. Over on this side, there's pretty much not a lot of changes. Two bedrooms, um, the second or third bath. Or, right. you know, well, depending on your configuration, um, and a very small little vestibule. Small There's, separation from the living room, so you're, you don't have nothing but doors on these walls that Daniel face the took room. Daniel took the, took the words right out of my mouth. Let's pop back outside real quick, show you this back porch. We're a fan of this back porch. I like this back porch. You know what I like about it? A lot of things, but yeah. one, see the awesome view. We set this house up on a north-south facing. This is east, that's, that's west. west. You got the T shape here, so in the winter time, this little portion here blocks the north wind, and in the summertime, that being a screen porch and flowing all the way through, you get the south breeze coming in, as well as being able to cantilever the roof system. Yeah, you notice as you walk out, yeah, there's no supports here. And in the mid-century, they would try to cantilever as much as they could. Do I got something in my nose, Jay? No, I, I, maybe I did. Well, you were, you were, you were acting itchy, like I had, I had an itchy has, nose. Had something. The reason the faces are so big on this house is because we used an open web truss. I think it was 21 inch. And right. therefore, it's structurally sound enough to where you can actually cantilever the porch covering out to where you don't have to have any posts. So it's, it's, a it's one -third, almost two -third. floating out here. Yeah. Yeah, and there's nothing that obstructs the view. That open web truss also allows us to carry all the mechanical through the roof system so that we don't have to have any type of attic space. Right. Wasted space. Thanks for joining us this yeah. morning. This is this is the, the Dickinson. Or this afternoon. Depends on when they're watching Or this it. evening. Whichever time you're watching it, you know. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna... Adios. I mean, not adios to you, I would tell them adios. Them or me? Well, whoever's watching. Thanks for watching, y'all. If you want to see last week's video, click in this little area somewhere. And if you want to see some other content that we've done, right in here somewhere. Thanks a lot. Adios.